<laughs> We're grilling beef between Jerry Jones and T.O. You've been around both yes. of them, so your reaction to what we're seeing play out in the It's media. so Jerry and it's so T.O. Like, it, it, is, it is just paramount that <laughs> both of these guys are exactly who they are in these, are in these comments. Uh, for T.O., I mean, I know you guys have had the discussion about T.O. not attending the Hall of Fame ceremonies. Doesn't surprise me one out. Because? Because T.O. has always been this guy. What He's, guy? The guy that is always going against the grain and holding grudges. This is about a grudge. Yeah. This is not about the fans. And I know T.O. is going to say that because it's great PR, right? We just finished talking about that for the NFL. This is about a grudge with writers and people that vote you into the Hall of Fame. This is about not going first ballot. And look, I, I, I know, Greeny, I know what you're about to say, but that is what this is about. This is not, this is not about being at Tennessee Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. This is not about... This is in spite mm -hmm. of everybody that didn't vote him in first ballot. I agree. And, and look, I've made my feelings on what he's doing here clear, and I, I have my own little relationship with T.O., and that is what it is. But I, I have to ask you this question, because this came up, and I interviewed T.O. right before he did get into the Hall of Fame. Was he a bad teammate? I mean, the book on him was that he was a bad teammate and that they got him out of Dallas in part because of that. You were on that team. I have no idea where the narrative comes from. Mm. I mean, if, it, if an individual... Every player that I've seen get on national TV and ask this question, T.O. was a great teammate. My experience for three years in Dallas with T.O. is that he was a great teammate. He was an example of how you approach the game, mm -hmm. not only from a physical standpoint, how you approach it from a mental aspect. A bad team, this has to come from dealings with the front office because mm. it has nothing to do with the locker room. We sat around, first of all, it was two years during Wade's time where we went 13 and three and we went 11 and five. He was having a lot of success. Everybody know how good of a football player he was. He was one of the glue guys in the locker room. That, that, that is the reality. Like, we, I can't say it any other way. T.O. was not a bad teammate mm -hmm. at all. And I, that narrative just plays out because what everybody want to have created around him. It, it's just not true. I think there's some proof in the fact that guys like Julio Jones want to work out with him and learn from him. And also, in the rearview mirror, now we can look back at it and say, was T.O. in ways a pioneer? Because in a lot of ways now NFL players are – going back at the front office and saying, you know, we want to have more personality. We want to be no able to question. do this and that. And so we might have frowned upon some of his actions or inactions in the past, but really he might have opened up some doors for the way that people can actually relate to the game. Now players can. T.O. was social media before right, all of this is taking place. Media. Right? <laughs> right? Just think about Antonio Brown guy. or Odell Beckham Jr. doing what they're doing now in 2003. Okay. 2004, or, or even predisposed of Twitter, Instagram, and all of this. Everybody would have been like, well, they don't care about football. I was in Dallas with Romo when he went to Cabo before a playoff game, and everybody said he's not serious about football. Right. I was in Dallas during that time. So you're right. He was ahead of his time in this regard. So